Today we're going to be tying a uh, high water hidden bead March Brown uh, wet fly. Uh, we're going to start with a 3761 in a size 12, 10, 12, 14 for this March Brown hatch, uh, U70 in the rusty brown. I'm going to start my thread directly behind the bead, come clear on down to the barb. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off half dozen or so pieces of pheasant tail, classic tailing material. We're going to do a little bit something different with this one today. So I'll measure that out to be about the same length as the shank. Make a couple wraps in front and a couple wraps behind. Let that material just hang for a second. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie in some uh, brassy size copper wire. Tie that all down the shank. The next thing I'm going to do is dub a body here. This is UV tan ice dub. Great stuff, easy to work with. Neat colors. So I've made a little dubbing noodle here. Now I'm going to wrap that forward. We're going to go about two thirds of the way forward with that. got a nice cigar tapered body here. We're going to take that, that uh, pheasant, we're going to stretch it across the dorsal surface here. And that way, you know, a March Brown's got a lighter colored belly, and a little bit darker colored back. This is kind of a more accurate color depiction. Snip off our excess wire and pheasant. So now I'm just going to make a couple wraps there to kind of get everything under control. I'm going to slide the bead kind of up and over. And then I've just taken my thread and gone around. I haven't reattached it or anything. Um, so there is a single strand basically of that thread. And then I've tied over it so that it's not going to come unraveled should that break. <clears throat> The next thing I'm going to do is tie in a little bit more dubbing here in front of the bead. Give something for that hackle to kind of take hold on. I've got a India Hemback in the natural. Um, really cool looking feathers, speckled black and brown. Um, a little bit dark to kind of give that real good look of the March Brown um, legs. I'll prep that like a traditional wet fly type of feather, expose my tip. And that's tied in right there ahead of that little dubbing and ahead of the bead. Make a handful of wraps with this material. Notice how in between wraps I'm kind of feathering that material back so that the, all those points are pointing towards the rear of the fly. Got a few cattywampus ones, we just take that and wrap over the top of them. See that classic pitched angle there on the wet fly uh, hackle. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to have, we have some uh, wood duck dyed mallard. Um, it's a nice way to keep your expenses a little bit less. Wood duck is a pretty expensive product. So if you've got a hunting buddy, wood duck would work. That feels like contributing to the cause. Otherwise, this stuff works great. So I'm going to prep a little bit of a, a wing here. Basically, what I'm doing is just taking the tip of the feather, kind of condensing it into a little wing package. I'm measuring that uh, wing so that the tips are just a little bit past the uh, the end of the abdomen. So I'll lay that wing right down on top of the shank here, right in front of the eye. Make some wraps to get it under control. 
this point in time I'll whip finish. Snip off my thread. There you have a completed hidden bead March Brown wet fly. It's one of my favorites and I hope it's one of yours too.